Hey guys, it's M Beans, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Today I have a confession to make. I had to turn on my mods. So, I have been playing the new update organically with no mods, no cheats. I feel like it kind of ruins the game for me when I can just access anything at all times. So, there is one thing that I need help with that I have no desire and no shame to get through by myself, and that is the Skull Caverns. So I'm having good luck today, and I need to get to the Skull Caverns, at least level 25, but I think following that, it wants us to get to level 100. So I might just do that, and then I'm going to just turn the mods right back off I'm going to keep the pink stuff. I'm going to keep the recolors of the buildings. But I need help with these stupid skull caverns, okay? Please don't judge me. All of the Stardew Valley YouTubers, as far as I'm aware, use mods. So there's no shame. But I want to keep it organic since I am a relatively new player to this game. But, you know, I do need some help I want to enjoy the game that I'm playing and I'm not enjoying dying in the skull caverns okay it's terrible all right here we are in the desert first things first I need to catch a sandfish so I'm gonna do that right now this is my last fish needed for the community center so I'm hoping I'm gonna get it and that it's not gonna take too much time all right, got him. Full beans, and my tackle wore out, so that was perfect timing. All right, I did also turn on a mod to pause time in the mines, because nobody has time for this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see, I'm getting hit, but I'm not actually dying. Perfect! So I'm going to take my time and relax because this should be cozy and we'll see what kind of loot that I get. Also, do you guys like my hat? I found it from a mystery box. Mystery boxes are like the best thing that has ever happened to Stardew Valley in my opinion. Not that I'm some kind of old school player. I'm going to let you guys know how much real time this is taking me to get to floor 100 with infinite health. The skull caverns are about efficiency and not really any mining. Like, just get that over with. It's too hard, <laughs> in my personal opinion. So if you're coming in here without mods, I suggest... Getting spicy eel, caffeine, make you faster. And don't focus on mining. You need to bring a whole bunch of bombs. Once you have the bombs, you can just sit and focus and defend yourself. My pockets are getting full already. Alright, we've made it to floor 19. Oh, a rabbit's foot. I need that. My rabbit will not produce, you guys. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. It's so hard, though. We can use up this bomb. The skull caverns are scary, and I'm a cozy gamer. I'm not a risk everything gamer. I I have always, always, always hated combat. It's like everything in my soul. Oh, I got a pink cake. I can give that to my girlfriend, Haley, who I want to get married to as soon as possible. This, this run, you guys, I want it to be my only time ever coming in here. So I need to get everything that I need. Because I truly do want to turn off these mods. 
as soon as I get what I need. So we need some iridium. We need some secret notes. We need a prismatic shard is what we need. We really need a couple of them. Like these guys, they're so hard normally. I would never be able to do this. I just want to be cozy and play my farming game. You know, I feel like it's not that much to ask for. I've gotten this same dwarf scroll like a bajillion times. Really annoying. I need the other ones. Oh, someone's waiting for me on level 100. Really? A dinosaur! Dude, those things are like impossible to kill. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm gonna get rid of the staircases that I gave myself in the stone. Better get a prismatic shard before level 100. There is a mod that you can turn on for maximum daily luck, but I don't really want to cheat that much. That's why I draw the line. <laughs> a white turban. Where am I going to put this? Guess I'll just keep throwing away all my stone. Please give me a shard. What is the sword? <gasps> Wicked Chris. Level 8 dagger. Wow. I'm on level 85 and still no shard. Please give me one. <gasps> I got it! I got one! Yay! Hmm. Yes. Now let's see if we can get another. Is that being stingy? How are we doing right now? 127 iridium. Wow. I like to go to the middle of these things even though I already got the staircase. Oh! Another one! Wow. Another one. I like to go to the middle because this is where you find some cool, interesting stuff in these crates. Sometimes, not always. Like secret notes, for example. I guess I'm going to get rid of my pink cake. Not for the stone. For the note. Okay. Then I got to go all the way back around to get to the staircase. But that's okay. Level 88. Bombs. I don't really need them. I didn't have mods on right now. Of course, I would take those. Alright, we are zooming through these last few levels. We're almost to level 100. And if you've made it this far, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, you guys. It helps me out a lot. Like 95% of my returning viewers are not subscribed and it's free for you and it just takes a little click of a button. So it helps me out a lot. If you would do that, I would appreciate it. All right, we are on level 100 and look who is here. Well, 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 you made it. Come closer now. This is very, very suspicious. Like these black snakes. I'm a little scared. Guys, I'm so bad at like skipping through dialogue. If you want to know what he said, just pause the video. Because I don't even know what he said. But it's called Iridium Snake Milk, and one healthy swig of that, and you'll become even more powerful. 
So naturally, I'm going to drink it. I have no choice. The taste is awful and the texture is even worse. But my health bar increased by 25. Good luck out there, kid. Well, thank you. All right, so that's it, you guys. I made it to level 100. I kind of want to just explore level 101 real quick. See what we can get. A little bit extra. In Louisiana, we say a little lane yet. Oh, another prismatic shard. Look at that. I'm kind of cheating this video, though, because I said I would leave at level 100. So here we go. If you stand in the middle of the three pillars in the desert, you will, while holding a prismatic shard, you will get the galaxy sword, which on my end looks like a lollipop, but that is a mod that is changing all of my things to pink aesthetic weapons. But this is everything that I got at the end of 40 minutes in the Skull Caverns up to floor 102 because I guess I just couldn't stop at 100. Let me know what you guys think about everything that I got. Was I lucky or was I not? But we are going to return to the valley real quick and we're going to donate these items to the community center. Donating my last fish, sand fish. Bundle complete. Now the glittering boulder will be removed and now I can pan for, I guess, gems or gold or something. <laughs> or in the water up by the regular caves. And with the new update, it now shows a fish tank when you complete the fish bundle. And I have my rabbit's foot to donate. And I am going to donate my prismatic shard to the museum since I have four of them. But I am keeping my dinosaur egg. Because if you put your dinosaur egg in the incubator, you can hatch your own dinosaur. All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if this was interesting to you if you'd like me to try something different with mods but don't make me try to go in the skull cavern without infinite health okay because I need that <laughs> trying to stay a cozy cozy gamer over here but thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one